Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock, ring. Letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really It was another hot day in Greendale, a very hot day. Everything was drying up. It's a real scorcher today, said Pat to Jess as they drove along. I'm thirsty already. <laughs> Mrs. Goggins was trying to get cool outside the post office. Morning, Pat. Isn't it hot? And we're going to be without water today. I know, said Pat. The lake's really low. They're going to turn the water off this morning. Whatever will we do? <laughs> but they can't turn off the lemonade. Here, have a drink, Pat, before you go. Ah, just what I need. My, that's good. <sighs> that's much better. Thank you. Well, I'll be off then. Hey, don't forget Granny Dryden's parcel. It looks like something special. I won't. And thanks for the drink. Cheerio. Pat put the parcel in the van to deliver later on. He started his round with the village letters. He met Granny Dryden out shopping and told her about the water being cut off. Well, it's a pity the old pump's not working, she said. There were plenty of dry times in my young days, and do you know it never dried up, not once. I wonder, said Pat. I wonder if Ted Glenn could mend it. I must ask him. He can fix just about anything. Morning, Pat. Morning, Mrs. Pottage. 
Let's see. Uh, I think I have something for you today. Oh, thank you. Right, Jess. That's the village done. Now for the farms. The water was already off at Greendale Farm. Peter Fogg was drawing water for the cows from the old well. Hello, Tom. <laughs> Helping out. Hello, Pat. <laughs> Warm work, this. Still got water in the old well. Let's have a look. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Now you've done it. I wonder if I can fish it out with this hook. Ah, got it. It'll be nice and cool anyway. At least I didn't drop this down the well. It's for you. Oh, thanks. Could you drop this can of water off at George Lancaster's place? There'll be no water up there. Sure, we'll be going past there, won't we, Jess? Cheerio! Hello, Pat. Isn't this drought terrible? We haven't got a drop of water left. Don't worry. If you look in the back, I've brought you a can from Peter Fogg. He said you'd be short. Thanks, Pat. That's grand. Cheerio! Pat remembered to call at Ted Glenn's workshop to ask if he could mend the old village pump. Hello, Ted. Anyone at home? Ah, there you are. Pat asked him about the pump. What, that old pump in the village? Well, I don't know. It's worth a try. I'll get me tools. Leave it with me. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Dee, 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 dee. Boom, 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 boom. Mrs. Thompson was enjoying a cup of tea. Pat called with a letter. Hello, Mrs. Thompson. How are you getting on? Are you out of water like everyone else? Oh, no. Our spring's still flowing. Ah, very nice, too. I wonder how Ted's getting on. There's a handyman called Ted Glenn And he's working once again can just about fix anything you'll ever need to mend Maybe a tractor or a ladder or a broken frying pan Just go down and see him and he'll help you if he can He'll just say, leave it with me, leave it with me, leave it with me. I'll try 
try to fix that up for you as quickly as can be. He'll just say, leave it with me. Leave it with me. I'll try to fix that up for you as quickly as can be. All the valley knows that he's the best of handy men. They all say, if you want things mended, go and see Ted Glenn. A broken clock, or a horseshoe, or an engine in a van. Just go down and see him, and he'll help you if he can. He'll just say, leave it with me. <laughs> leave it with me. I'll try to fix that up for you as quickly as can be. He'll just say, leave it with me. Leave it with me. I'll try to fix that up for you as quickly as can be. He'll just say, leave it with me. Leave it with me. I'll try to fix that up for you as quickly as can be. Danny Dryden was watching out for Pat. He brought her a can of water as well as a parcel. Um, remember what you said about the old pump? Well, Ted's mended it. It's going a treat. When she opened the parcel, she discovered it was Pat's new digital watch, which she had ordered for him from Manchester. Pat was very pleased with it. I'll always be on time now, he said. Thank you for getting it for me. Uh, I'll bring the money tomorrow. Look after yourself. Goodbye. Pat had kept a can of water for himself, too. Jess kept a sharp eye on it. <laughs> he didn't want another wetting, no matter how hot it was. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Boom, 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 boom. 